now got clean public Wi-Fi, so we, we now have a commitment from all of the Wi-Fi providers that adult content will be blocked um, in public. So I'm sorry to jump in, but I thought that was a really important progress point that we made. Not everywhere, yeah. surely, yeah. Claire. Um, any, well, the expectation now is anywhere where you would typically take children to a coffee shop, shopping centres, on the train, on the tube, adult content uh, will be blocked. <laughs> We're working on a couple of technical wrinkles with one of the largest providers to make sure we can say um, it's universally available, but the expectation is we will deliver that um, in short order. They're, they're, and again, there's been no pushback from citizens on this. Nobody has said, actually, that censorship, what we'd like to do is, is be able to access adult content. I think it's just common sense, Jenny. We're having a kind of waking up of common sense on this issue. You're a what are you hoping the summit will achieve? From our point of view, we do think industry need to do more. It was great news about Google um, upping their contribution to the Internet Watch Foundation last week, but there is much more that they can do. This, this content shouldn't be coming through. Um, and also, I think just more support generally for parents so that they do know what to do. The, the providers, it's great that we're moving towards one-click solutions, but certainly when we're looking at mobile phones and other portable devices, we need a bit better consistency in terms of, of making those safe for young people. Claire, just on a, a slightly different subject, we were just discussing the possibilities of promotion at a reshuffle. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a possibility? What are you hoping for? Um, to be Jenny, honestly speaking, I have I have two I wear two hats. I support the Secretary of State for Defence with Defence Matters, and given I have probably more soldiers than any other MP, that's an incredibly important and interesting role. And honestly, campaigning on the the whole issue of online safety, which is consumed a lot of time over the last two and a half years and we're really making a difference so I'm, I'm actually really happy doing what I'm doing and so I'm hoping really to make a difference on this portfolio. Well we'll see it'll come up soon. Claire Perry, Laura Higgins thank you both very much indeed. Well, still to come in today's programme a new novel by Kishwa Desai looks at rape and violence against women in India and feminist writing why does Amanda Craig think it's lost its edge? Now this job of mine has a number of occupational hazards. It might be the kitchen throat that comes with a lot of a high pollen count, a failure to apologise on behalf of the guest who left a naughty word slip out, or the question to the newly divorced young woman about her deliriously happy marriage. The results of sloppy research, without a doubt, but one of the most embarrassing examples of the foot in the mouth syndrome where you just hope a hole will open in the ground and you will fall through it. So Elliot Nichols looks 